What? I'm already out? Hmm. Oh well. I needed a new flavor anyways. Let's see. What's more popular on Google? Hmm. Oh, I like this one. I don't have blueberry. I like blueberry pie. I guess I'll get it. Let me make a note of it. Eh, forget a note. Let me just print out a picture and take it with me to the store. File, print, and there we go. <gasps> what? What are this? It printed out a real EOS lip balm? Oh my gosh, it actually works! This is so magical! This is amazing! This is a... a what happened? It turned back into paper and self-destructed. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna print another one. Yay, I got it back. Mwah! I love you. I'll never let you go again. We will be like Jack and Rose from Titanic. Hey, Glitter Critters, it's Breland here, and yay, another EOS video. I am so excited today because this is going to take EOS to a whole new level. 3D printed EOS, yay. So I recently got a 3D printer for Christmas this year, and I thought, wouldn't it be so magical and amazing to print out an EOS lip balm? So for all of you out there who live in other countries and they don't sell EOS, if you have a 3D printer, you know what? You can just print one off the internet. So let me know in the comments what you think, and also let me know what else would you print out if you could literally print out a clone of an exact thing from the internet that you saw and that you want. I really want to know what you would print out with a 3D printer. So remember to subscribe by clicking that red subscribe button right below this video to become an official Glitter Critter so you'll never miss another video like this one. So this is also an epic EOS collab with some of my really amazing friends here on YouTube including Sophia Style, Natalie's Outlet, Karina Garcia, Rosalie Says Rar, Glamour Life Fox, Timmy Tomato, Hello Maffy, So Craftastic, and Jillian Bauer. We all got together and decided to create a really fun EOS video, so make sure you go and you check out their EOS videos. I'll be sure to link them at the top of the description below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to their channels. So now, let's go ahead, let's go print out this EOS lip balm, shall we? Let's go. Before anything custom could be built in my 3D printer, I had to create it from scratch in this 3D software website called Tinkercad. Honestly, had never used this kind of software before in my entire life, but it was pretty easy to use. It had a dome preset, and the only one I could find had these little squares engraved in it, but it was cool. I think it kind of gives the EOS character. I wanted to have the signature dome lid as well as the twisty cap rim around the bottom, so I found this little egg-shaped tool which I used to punch the holes in the top of the EOS. So I made sure both pieces were the exact same size and then I just dragged and dropped them to my Dremel program and rendered them to build. I also saved this to the little SD card that came with the printer. Meet my 3D printer, Dremelina. She can be feisty at times and likes to clog on me. So I just selected build and the file I wanted to build. So the way this works is there's a filament, AKA a thin string of plastic like these right here that runs through the motor right here. It melts the plastic and squirts it out into the pattern of whatever file you are printing out by pressing it together in layers. This process took one hour and 20 minutes. I made two successful containers and three Three that, well, kind of look like one of those radioactive mutant animals who has like three eyeballs and one leg. Trust me, you, you don't want to see them. Also became quite the Dremel mechanic and I made a really great friend with one of the representatives at the Dremel customer service place because we spent a lot of time together on the phone. Between two days, we spent around six hours together. Oh, the dedication. Now that I have my cute EOS containers, it's time to bring them to life. Since I printed two, I'm using one for the lip balm because I don't want to get paint in the lip balm. You could use any lip balm you prefer just by melting it in increments of 15 seconds in the microwave or just do what I did, make a super simple lip balm using lots of coconut oil and beeswax. I also used one of my EOS lip balms in this to give it that EOS color and just like the real EOS, I put the lid in the base and poured the melted lip balm into the container and put it in the freezer for 20 minutes. 
While that's baking, I'm going to paint the other EOS base. I stuff paper towels inside so that way no paint gets in there because I'm pretty sure paint is not as moisturizing as lip balm. So next I painted the entire container with some baby blue acrylic paint I got from Michaels for like 99 cents each a bottle and I carefully sponged it around the rim not putting it on the inside of the rim. Then I painted both of the entire pieces. My lip balm's finished solidifying, so I used a thin knife to slowly remove it from the lid. I thought this was going to be an issue, but it came out pretty good. Next, I filled the base of the painted container with lip balm and stuck the top of the lip balm to that. I used a wet paper towel to mold and shape the lip balm and gave it that smooth EOS look. I think I love this version more because you get more lip balm and it's a cool EOS inspired container. I know I keep saying lip balm like way too much. I know you may not have a 3D printer at home because they can be expensive, but a lot of public libraries and other printing businesses have been providing 3D printers to the public. So just create your file at home and print it out at one of those facilities. Facilities, and I'll try to see if I can link this EOS file below for your printing pleasure. Don't forget to subscribe to become an official glitter critter and remember to watch the other girls videos which I'll have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a glitterful day.